This is the second part in the collage assignment video. Now we're ready to do our collaging and I have to pick a target layer. I'm going to pick the face guy here. And we've already adjusted kind of each layer the way we want it. And I'm going to add these things two different ways. We're going to start with the leaf, which I'm going to do a select all, which is Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC, and then copy, which is Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC, or you can come up under here, edit copy. Then I'm going to go back to my man and I'm going to paste, which is edit, paste, or Command V, Control V. Now what you'll want to do to decide what you're sizing, I think it's easier to pull back the opacity here in the layer. And I have that pulled back when I make my transformations. And to transform, it's under Edit, Transform. And I'm going to resize this. Because I want some of these twigs actually running across the face a little bit, I'm going to resize about like that. And then pull my opacity back up. And the first thing I'm going to do now is add a layer mask. Layer masking is at the bottom of your layers palette. I can pull this window open. It's right here, this little button. And we're going to click on it so it shows up over here. Your layer mask and your layer are connected with a link. So if you move one, you move the other. If you want to move them independently, you'd click that link to deselect or to unlink them. When you're on this layer, anything you paint with black will make the layer invisible. Anything you paint with white will make it visible. So we're going to go in, painting with black. I'm going to zoom in here. And first thing I do is just kind of go through and get rid of my hard edges, because obviously any hard edge is going to be completely obvious. And you'd be surprised how much you don't have to be detailed when you're doing this kind of work. So I can come in and I've kind of got a, I think I have a 30 pixel soft brush. And I can kind of rough it out at this point with this. Now the good thing about doing it with a layer mask is I'm not erasing. So if I decided I needed something, like for instance I've made this, maybe here I've made the leaf too soft or I accidentally so deselected a branch, I can hit my X key and that will change this foreground and background color. I can use the left bracket, which is next to the letter P, to make my brush size small and I could bring it back in and it would be nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and continue masking this out using, I've got to hit the X again to bring the black back. So I'm going to continue masking and I am going to turn the video off while I do that just to keep file size small because um, I've, I've had a problem uploading these because D2L doesn't love my giant file sizes. So I will finish that and we'll do the next layer on the next video.